now I'm going to get on this filly and demonstrate how to use the hackamore. Uh, this filly's two years old. Uh, she's been ridden, I think, four or five months in the snaffle bit uh, total. And um, her uh, wolf teeth are starting to come in. And so the bit's bothering her. So I'm going to ride her in this hackamore for a little while until the vet can get out here and pull those wolf teeth. Okay. So when we ride with the hackamore, the reins come out of the bottom of our hand, uh, just like we're riding with a snaffle bit. And I like my reins adjusted uh, fairly long in the hackamore so that I can take a loop. See how I got that loop in my hand? And shorten the reins up. Or if I need to go real wide, I can drop that loop and go real wide if I need to. If I want my hands in close, I can make that loop, okay? All right. So before I ride off, I want to I wanna discuss some of the principles. We never use a steady pull with the hackamore. Everything is done with, with a pull release, pull release, or a bump and release, or a touch and release. Um, if a horse gets out of control or isn't listening to the hackamore, isn't paying attention to us, we will double, what's called doubling, which is we reach down and pull his head around with a big pull and release, or maybe several pulls and releases uh, to take his head away, okay? That's our main control. We also want to establish good vertical head position with the hackamore, and so we'll do what's called uh, 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 tucking or bumping. Um, We'll take and, and bump, 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 left, right, left, right. There we go. She doesn't know how to respond to this hackamore. This is the first time she's ever been ridden in one. So it's going to take her a while to understand where to go with her head to get, to get relief uh, from the pressure. But as we ride along here, I'll just kind of talk about what we're doing. So I'm going to ride her off. And when I'm going to ask for her to turn, it's going to be bump, release, bump, release. Now her head isn't coming in that direction. When we ask a horse to turn, they need to give their head in the direction that we're turning. So I'm going to use a series of bumps. It's bump, 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 bump. Now her head went up, left, right, left, right, until it goes down. There we go. Keep her walking forward as I do this. Bump, 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 bump bump, bump. As soon as she gives, I give the slack. All I want to do right here on this first ride is establish what it feels like and how, she, and how she's going to get slack, how, how she's going to relieve pressure. Bump, bump, bump. As soon as she gives her nose to the side and it comes down, I quit bumping, okay? So, if I ask her head to the left, it's my hand goes out to the side with a couple of bumps and her head comes to the left. Good. Good. All right, let's go back to the right. Do the same thing. Bump, bump, bump. Keep bumping until that nose comes to the side and drops down. If you've got your, head, your horse supple in the, in the snaffle bit, this shouldn't be any big deal. I just bump, bump, bump. They give, she gives her head. I quit bumping. Bump, bump, bump. And I'm just doing this to get her, you know, teach her how to respond. Now, I'm going to get her to tuck her nose. I'm going to bump the reins left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. She drops her nose. I give her the slack. That wasn't perfect. She thinks, see, she's a little confused. She thinks I want to give her head to the side. So she's taking her head to the side instead of straight down. I'm going to use both reins even. I'm going to bump both reins straight back, little tiny bumps, until she drops her nose. That's pretty good. It's not perfect. 
I'm going to take your head to the side. There we go. See, sometimes when you take their head to the side to get her to bend, you might also have to use the outside rein, left, right, left, right, to get her to drop her nose down vertically as she's giving her head to the side. Okay? And all this just takes a little bit of time. Two, three rides and she'll have this figured out. I'm going to bump her, hack, bump her nose, get her to drop her nose, keep her going with my feet. Left, right, left, right with my hands, left, right, left, right.